Hey, what's going on you guys? Hope everybody had a good Christmas. Enjoyed your time off. Now we're all back to it. I am working out here at a funeral home actually. I don't know if you can see way up there on the hill in between them trees. There are graves going all up through there. I've been coming out to this place taking care of the equipment for years and years and years. Hard to believe it's been that long. but. This is just gonna be a super quick little tech tip here. We're working on a good old Air Ease unit, one of the worst units ever made. The vibrating this damn units I've ever seen. I don't know how many of them, you know, vibrated right through copper, through the TXVs. Bulbs, you know, lost the charge in the bulb. Feeder tubes vibrate, you name it. These things are just terrible. TXV problems. But, this unit right here is sitting underneath all these big pine trees, if you can see. And then you see all this right here. I mean, can you can you see this, guys? Look, look at all these pine needles. You know, these these things are three inches deep here. And when I first started coming out here, of course, this unit had the grill around it with the metal. So all that did was trap all those pine needles in here. And I'm telling you, you could spend three days out here picking pine needles out of this thing and couldn't even put a dent in it. So I finally got sick and tired of that. And with the homeowner's approval, of course, and don't, don't anybody jump on me and say that I'm destroying their equi equipment. The homeowner gave me authorization to do this. As you can see here, I have taken that grill off the only thing that had to stay because of the way it was made were these corner braces right here because that's what's actually the support. So I just took me a big pair of side cutters and cut this thing off to where I could peel that thing away from this unit and then just expose this coal to where now I can maintain that thing with the super handy little coal brush that we all love so much. I've already done the back side and you can see that turned out pretty good. And then over here, we're looking pretty good. But these things do an amazing job for this. If you just hit it at just the right angle and kind of use a little flicking motion, it'll just flick most of those things right out of there. And if you're just brushing up and down, it is amazing what these brushes do, man. I just love my little brush. And then the ones that it don't get out, It'll flick them up and loose, and then you've only got a couple to reach in and pull out with your hands. So by the time everything's over, said, and done, this coal's going to be in pretty good shape. You know, I wish I had pictures that I could put in here of how this thing used to be. But you can imagine with all these pine needles, I mean, it is just nothing but pine needles everywhere because these trees are huge. And they've been here for a while and all that stuff comes down right on top of that unit. So, I mean, that thing looked like it had a big fur coat on when I used to come out here, but now she's pretty good and clean. So anyway, just thought I'd pass that along to you if you ever encounter a situation like that. And you know that getting all that off of that coal is much more important than having that silly little grill around the outside of that thing so just make a recommendation to the homeowner that look if you'll let me do this it's not going to look bad the unit's still going to look aesthetically appealing to you but i'm going to help the operation of this thing greatly by getting that off there and keeping these pine needles out of this coal because it'll just flat out block them up man pine needles and dog hair damn it's hard to get it off there so anyway you guys just thought I'd pass along that tip. See, I'm sitting in mounds and mounds of pine needles here. There's our model and serial number. And guys, as always, I appreciate you watching. Hope you all have a great day, a great new year, and I will see you all next year.